Hello, I'm here to show you the Sun Zero Sun Protective Curtain. So this is the one that's 54 wide by 84 inches long. And it's perfect for what I'm using it here for. This is my balcony. And right now it's all cloudy, it's a little bit rainy. But in the summertime, you can see from my jacket, it's not quite summer, so I'm preparing ahead. In the summertime, the sun sets over there. So when it does that and I'm sitting out here, it hits me straight in the eyeballs. And that's just not very pleasant to be out here on the balcony. So I thought, I want something that I can use to bring me some shade, but not always have to block here. I didn't want to hang something that was permanent. Plus it gets a little windy here sometimes, and I didn't want that all winter hanging here, flapping around in the wind and decomposing on my balcony. So I bought this curtain, and as you can see, it's perfect. I can pull it over here, and I have a sunshade. It also looks nice. If you don't need it for, for maybe sun protection, it is a nice bit of privacy. Uh, you can't really see through it. So if you're sitting on your balcony and maybe you share a balcony with a neighbor, you can always put a curtain up so that you feel like you're not just always being watched by someone or having your neighbor right there. So it's good for that too. Now we do have a little bit of wind today. Let me move this so you can see. If it gets windy, it moves in a little bit. So my plan for this is you see you have a bit of a hem right here on the bottom and I was thinking I might just make like get a couple of rocks and put them in you know plastic and just pin them in there or something so that if it, we happen to come out on a windy day the rocks can weight it down. Now rocks that's kind of um, I don't know I guess it's like a survivalist type thing. You, they also make curtain weights so you could purchase curtain weights if you wanted to do it the right way and not just go pick up rocks from the beach which is probably what I will do. <laughs> but as you can see from the curtain this is the gray and white one. Uh, I think it blends very nicely. My uh, my building is kind of a, a little bit of a dirty cream color and the, the balcony is gray, so I went with the gray and white and I think it blends really nicely. Also, it gives you a really nice summery feel, right? It feels like you're out here on the, in the cabana with a little curtain, so it's exactly what I wanted. At the top, it's got grommets up there. They slide really nicely across the dowel. I've just used a dowel. You could use um, a regular curtain rod if you want to, but they slide slides really nicely back and forth. And then I can just unhook my dowel and take it, take the curtain down if I want to and just leave the dowel up there empty over the winter. So if you're looking for something that you want for some sunshade, but it isn't going to completely block, this will still have some light come through it, which is fine. I just didn't want the direct ball of light in my eyes. So this is like a perfect thickness and it's also a fabric that's weather resistant and you can easily wash and dry it as, as you need to. So if you're looking for something like I was that will help you be more comfortable on your balcony or your other outside area, I highly recommend the Sun Zero curtain. And I hope that you enjoy your summers on your balcony as much as I plan to. Thank you for watching.